buddies. So you know when you go searching for a menstrual cup, you see on the websites or if you have one already, it always states on the box in the pamphlet, on the website, that you can use a menstrual cup for up to 12 hours. This doesn't necessarily mean that you won't have to empty your menstrual cup for those 12 hours. So how do you know when you need to empty out your menstrual cup? Hi everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to go over when to empty your menstrual cup or how to know when to empty your menstrual cup. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you're new to menstrual cups, you probably don't really know when you're going to need to empty your cup. Like I said, you probably won't be able to use it for a full 12 hours unless you have a light flow. If you've been using a menstrual cup but you're still having some issues with overflowing, then this might also help you figure out when to empty your menstrual cup. Since we're all different, our flow is going to be different as well. Uh, we all have different meanings for a light or regular or a heavy flow. My light flow might be your very heavy flow and my heavy flow might be somebody else's regular period kind of put the amount or the flow into time instead of actual milliliters. There are many menstrual cups that have measurement lines or measurement numbers inside of the cup or on the outside. And a lot of people say, uh, I fill my cup up or I wear my cup until it reaches the rim or right underneath the rim. Well, how do you know when it reaches that point if it's inserted and you can't see it. I've never really paid attention to the measurements um, except for like when I was bleeding really, really heavy and I wanted to measure approximately how much I was bleeding during that time. If I was bleeding really heavy, it kind of didn't make a difference uh, if I measured it or not because I would always spill some out when I went to go empty my cup. So I never knew exactly how much I was bleeding. Some people notice different sensations when their cup starts to fill up. They can be described as a bubbling, burping, gargling, queefing, like the vaginal farts but something that kind of describes this um, exchange of air to the flow. What's happening when you feel this sensation is the air being displaced by your period. So as your period fills or collects into this cup, the air gets kind of squeezed out or pushed out of your cup. And that's what you're feeling when you have those kinds of sensations. When people feel these sensations, it usually means that their cup is filling up quite a bit and it's probably a good idea to find a bathroom soon. Uh, usually when I start to feel those sensations, I have about a half an hour or so left before I need to find a restroom. Some people don't feel these sensations at all. If you don't feel them, how are you supposed to know when to empty your cup? What I like to tell new cuppers is to measure it more in time and not fluid volume. When you're first trying out this method, I would say to use it on your heaviest days first. Remove your cup at about three hours and take note at how full it is. Was there hardly any blood? Was the cup filled up halfway or was it almost to the rim? If your cup hardly has any blood in it, you can add one or two more hours to the three hours that you already used in. If your cup was halfway full, then you could maybe try to add another hour, which would bring you to four hours. If your cup was full to the rim, then you probably want to drop one hour and empty your cup next time at the two hour mark instead of the three hour mark. When your period starts to lighten up, maybe you have only a heavy period one to three days and then the rest of your period is light, then again, you can drop the hours. Some people that have a very heavy period can still use their menstrual cups for up to six hours before having to empty it. You'll get to know your body and your flow at different points during your period. 
taking note of how often you have to empty your menstrual cup during this learning curve will help you determine if say day one, two, and three you need to empty your menstrual cup every three to six hours. And days four, five, six, and seven, maybe you only need to empty your menstrual cup at the six hour mark, or maybe not even at all until the 12 hour mark. If you find that you have to empty your menstrual cup at the three hour mark and you want some more capacity, you might want to look into a higher capacity cup. Well, I hope that helps you uh, with how to know when to empty out your menstrual cup. And one more tip that I have for you, if you're going to be out during the day, make sure you empty your menstrual cup before you leave the house. That way you have a fresh cup with the full capacity and you have a few hours before you have to worry about emptying your cup or finding a bathroom. Let me know in the comments below if you had any of those sensations and if you thought it was from your cup or not. Until I see you next time, take care.